Again, we've got Dr. Linda Nabha, noted infectious disease specialist, to answer your questions about the coronavirus. You know, what about people who need to go to the doctor or need to go to the doctor and maybe even had an appointment? Should you maybe delay that until you absolutely... Yeah, I mean, that's an excellent question. I think it depends on the doctor's office. If you are going for a well visit, if you have a physical exam scheduled, um, you're there for a blood pressure check, it's non-emergent really think about not going right. um, because that doctor's office may be overwhelmed with sick patients. You may be putting yourself at risk. Also, the doctor's office may put in protocols to cancel those well visits during this time. Okay, my, my, my good friend and partner Leslie Foster was telling me on the set at six o'clock how her dog Boomer, now if you go to the vet, you sit there in the car and they will come out and get Boomer. They don't want you coming into the vet office with right. the dog. They don't want to get, you know, it's that person to person contact. They want to limit that as much as possible. And we've got a similar case here, um, the, the dentist, you know, wait in your car as opposed to the waiting room. We'll come and get you when we're ready for you. I mean, is that crazy or what? Well, I mean, again, it's going back to that limiting person to person contact. So if you are going to the dentist, you know, you need to check with the dentist to see if those those visits are still available. If it's a dental cleaning, um, a regular follow up visit, you call the dentist's office and make sure um, that that is still available. And people should also know this isn't personal, okay? It's better to overreact than not act at all. Would right. you not agree? I don't know if this is overreacting. I think we've got to do our, our, our parts here to limit the interactions and limit the, the spread of the infection. You heard it from the doctor.